Hey everyone, what's going on? Nando Siriani here and I want to welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be diving into jewelry. How much jewelry you should be wearing, when you should be wearing it, why you should be wearing it, and how much jewelry is too much jewelry to be wearing, you know, for an outfit or any style that you're going for. We're going to be covering all of that in today's video, so stay tuned. The first accessory that I want to talk about is rings. Now this is something that I actually just recently got into and you know, researching and looking at rings to buy for myself. So I started off with just one ring on the index finger. So I purchased a ring on my index finger and I just started wearing that because I also just wanted to get into it a little bit slow because it is a little bit weird like you're wearing all these you know, rings on your fingers. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna start off with one index finger and I'm just gonna use that. So I literally went out, purchased a ring for my index finger. I got used to the style, I got used to the vibe of just having that ring on. And then eventually I went on and got a second ring on my right hand, as you can see like that. So. I mean, it gives it kind of that, you know, cool, kind of like casual street style, formal vibe. You can kind of wear two of these on the right hand with any kind of outfit actually. So, I mean, I love kind of just having two on at all times. Um, it's just my personal preference. Um, but I would prefer just going with like a silver or still sterling silver kind of look. Um, I don't really want to wear gold rings at the moment. I don't really have a reason to wear gold rings. So I'm just going to stick with kind of the silver vibe right now, especially for the spring and summer. I feel like it looks really cool with any kind of outfit. So if you are looking for rings, I suggest just getting one to start with, get used to it. You can put it on pretty much any finger that you want. I just decided to go with the index finger, uh, but there are some cool pinky rings, some cool like thumb rings. Um, but I would just kind of stay away from maybe, you know, the middle finger. I like to use the middle finger as like separation for myself, right? So as you can see, if I'm gonna put on um, a thumb ring here, it, it, I can kind of play with, you know, putting one on over here. So, I mean, I would just stay away from putting it on the middle finger. I don't really put it on my middle finger. I always stay away from that, just to kind of give it that separation. But um, just start off with one and then kind of progress to getting two and you can kind of just go for that vibe that I have going on on my hand right now. So. Now let's talk about the left hand. You know, when should you wear a ring on your left hand, I guess, you know, other than, you know, if you do get married or someone to your partner or something. But um, for now, for myself at least, if I do look for a third ring, I would probably put it on my, you know, thumb, to be honest with you, if it's on my left hand, I don't know, it just looks cool, I guess, but that's it for me. Like I wouldn't go more than like three rings on my body, you know, with any outfit. Um, personally, at least that's what kind of like my style is, I guess, but, um, I would go for two on the right and then one on the left for sure. So I'm, I am in the hunt looking for a cool kind of thumb ring for the left side here just to have, um, if I want to throw it on with like a, you know, an outfit or something in the summertime. So, I mean, if you are just starting out again, just start off with one and then progress to having two rings. Now, where do you guys, you know, want to buy these and, you know, where should you buy them? Um, I have a couple from... Um, clocks and colors. I have one from Marco Dalmaso. Um, I have one from Serge Denims. I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly, but those are just a couple of brands. I can leave them in the description below for you guys to kind of check out and shop. Um, but yeah, that's exactly how I like to wear my rings. And you can kind of wear them like this with any outfit. Like if you're going for a formal look, streetwear look, or casual look, I just feel like if you have that ring on, it really separates the outfit and it just gives it a very detailed look. Like people love seeing cool things on like your, you know, your hands and like your wrists and stuff. So, I mean, I love it. Like I've recently just got into it and I absolutely love them. I just, you know, I take all of my videos with them and my TikTok and my Instagram reels and all my photos. So, I mean, it just really, you know, brings that outfit to life. I feel it really elevates the outfit when you just have some rings on. If you, wanna, if you are taking photos of yourself, you know, and you're taking a cool detailed shot, it just looks really cool when you have a couple of pieces of accessories, you know, on your hands. So that's it for rings. Um, very, very basic, right? So you can pretty much just play around with, you know, what fingers you like and, you know, what you're most comfortable with at the end of the day, right? Fashion is just about being comfortable with yourself and what you like. So let's move on to the next one. Second accessory that I want to talk about is necklaces. Now, how many necklaces should you wear? For me personally, the most I would do is two. And I'm going to explain why. So for myself, I usually like to have one that kind of has like some sort of like logo or you know, accessory to it. So this one, it just has a cross on it. And I don't know, I just feel like the long, like the one with the logo, like the little like accessory attached to it should be kind of like lower on your chest, right? So I would bring it down to about just like below my chest here. And then the second one I have is just kind of like sitting inside 
the um, longer one here without the kind of accessory attached to it. So it, it also just, you can also just wear this one by itself or you can kind of just wear this one by itself. So it depends which look I'm going for. If I am in a street style outfit, I will kind of wear the, the necklaces over my t-shirts like this, right? Like that, so you can kind of like see them. Or I will like, you know, if I am wearing more of a casual formal look, um, you know, I'm not gonna really you know, have my chain poking out of my polo shirt. Just so like, I would just want you to kind of see it through like the polo shirt, I guess, like onto my neck here, right? So you can kind of just see that I am wearing the necklace, but I'm not really showing it, right? So the most I would do is two. And like, for me, like three, four of them, it just, I feel like even in the summer, spring and summertime, it gets really hot also, like when you wear a lot of jewelry. So I feel like just for myself, like in the heat, it is just nice just to wear one or two. And these are like super light. This one again is from, uh, so Jay the names, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly. And this one I just got from a local place uh, by my work where I live. But um, again, like they're not like crazy, crazy expensive. Like you can find really cool jewelry online that's like very affordable, right? And it will give you that look, man. It will elevate that outfit a lot more. So, I mean, for myself, I would just go with a silver or sterling silver kind of uh, necklace and I would either just wear it on the top of my t-shirt like this. So for example, I'm wearing this oversized kind of Harley Davidson t-shirt. So like if I were to like put it in, I guess like you could like, you can kind of just like see it, you know, kind of just like poking out of the shirt like that. But I mean, for this kind of outfit, or if I am wearing like, you know, a basic white t-shirt outfit with like a cool pair of like ripped jeans and a sneaker, then I will definitely like pull this out, right? Like, and just like leave it kind of like hanging. So I feel like for those basic t-shirts, you can, um, bring it, you know, on top of it just so you can kind of see it in the outfit. But I mean, if you are going more of like casual and you're wearing more of like a dress shirt or like, you know, a uh, branded collar shirt, I don't really like even like to wear them sometimes. I just like to, I feel like it just makes the outfit not look formal anymore, right? So you have to know really when to wear the necklace and when not to, I guess, and when to just kind of like, you know, put it in your shirt just so you can't really see it. At least that's just my opinion, right, on how I kind of do it. But um, when I am taking some of my photos, my Instagram pictures, I always look at like, you know, what actually looks good, you know? Just because you have the jewelry doesn't mean you don't need necessarily need to wear it with every single outfit that you have, right? So you have to kind of know when to put it on and then when not to, or, you know, when to just, you know, leave it under your shirt, right? Unless you just love wearing it all the time. But um, for myself, again, I don't really love wearing gold. Um, I feel like silver is just very subtle and it's not as, you know, loud. I feel like gold is very loud for me. It just doesn't work for my, you know, outfits and stuff. So that's just personal preference. So if you like gold, that's totally fine. You can wear it the same way I'm wearing it. But uh, yeah, this is uh, exactly how I like to kind of just wear my necklaces. Just want to explain to you guys exactly, you know, what outfits I wear with. So that's it. But yeah, there's like tons of jewelry online, man, that you can like, you know, search up and just look at it. So I will leave some in the link below for you guys to shop. So third up on the accessory list, I want to talk a little bit about bracelets. Now, how many bracelets should you wear and you know, what, with what kind of outfits? And it kind of goes the same with, you know, rings, right? So for me, max, 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 I'm wearing three uh, bracelets like this, right? So maybe you want to get like some sort of like bangle that has like, you know, the separation there. We can kind of see your skin a little bit. And with the bangle, you can kind of wear it this way or you can wear it the other way, depending on what kind of style you're going for something in the middle like this that just kind of separates the two on the side right so i like to kind of get stuff that you know the pattern is kind of different on each sort of you know you know bangle or bracelet or whatever so i mean max three um like with an outfit like this like when i'm wearing this oversized streetwear look i would like to kind of wear three um my girlfriend also just thinks sometimes three is a little bit too much um but it is max like the three is the absolute max i would never wear like four on my arm and i feel like it just takes up my arm too much so I mean, you can also just like even split these up too. Like you can take one off and put it on your left hand. You can kind of have two on your right and then one on your left, which looks also really cool. But I mean, you know, where do you buy these? Again, like Sergey the names, if I'm saying that properly, <laughs> um, has a few as well that I'm wearing here that I'm wearing too. And then this one is just one that um, my dad uh, gave me a long time ago. I just wear, um, which is silver. But again, I do stick around with the silver, sterling silver vibe. Um, I'm not really wearing the gold, as you can see. I just feel like it really goes with every outfit uh, that I wear. Um, at least for my personal preference, uh, there's nothing wrong with gold. I mean, you can wear whatever you want. But at the end of the day, um, I feel like the big question is that I get on Instagram and stuff is, you know, um, exactly how many should you wear? And the answer is, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, 
or you know, whatever kind of style you're going for. So if you are going for a formal look, I wouldn't really wear three if I'm you know, wearing a formal look. I'm definitely just gonna go with like even just one, max two of the formal look, casual, the same thing. I'm not gonna go for three, max two, maybe even just one on the right hand. So, I mean, like even with a casual look, you can wear one on the left, one on the right. So, I mean, you can always just change it up, right? So, I mean, and there are different style kind of uh, bracelets too, right? You can get really like thick ones, you get thinner ones. So. It depends on what kind of look you're going for, what you know, what suits you the most, right? Jewelry, I feel like, really has to suit you, right? Like, what looks good on somebody else may not look good on you necessarily. So, like, there's a lot of influencers that I see on Instagram. And I'm like, oh wow, that's like really cool. And then you actually like order it and you see it, and you're like, oh my gosh, like it looks like too big on me, or like looks too small on me. So you always have to go through that trial and error with jewelry and really try out what is exactly you know suitable for you, right? So. I mean, again, jewelry just comes down to what you're comfortable in, man. That's it. So, yeah, I uh, recently just like got a couple of these uh, ones too, and I'm really happy with them. They're, they're not that super crazy expensive. Um, you know, they look cool. It looks like you know when you wear bracelets, it kind of separates the outfit again, right? It, it gives it more of that elevated look. So, I mean, I would highly suggest just even getting one bracelet to start with. Um, right now, I have a silver vibe going on. This video is pretty mainly about you know sterling silver, I guess. Uh, I can do another video on you know more maybe like the, the beads, the, you know the, the bracelets with the beads. I can do maybe one on those, how to kind of like style that. But um, I feel like for the spring and summer, it is really cool just to kind of throw these like sterling silver ones on. I feel like it just goes with every outfit um, that I put on. So yeah, I will leave some in the link below where you guys can just shop a couple. Let's move on. Lastly on the list today, I'm gonna to be talking about watches. Now, watches can vary in price, so it really depends on what your budget is when you are purchasing a watch. Like watches can go from you know $80 all the way up to $50,000, so it really depends on your budget and what you wanna spend on the watch. Now, in terms of sizes, for myself, I wouldn't go any bigger than like a 41 millimeter on the wrist, so the, what, what that means is just basically the face kind of size of the watch. Um, the bigger faces are kind of more out of style now. People are really going for the 39 to 42 millimeter. So that's what I would suggest um, just getting, you know, that's what I'm going to be getting soon as I am looking into getting a couple of different pieces to match different outfits and stuff. So, I mean, just to start off, when you are buying a watch, so I would get something that is very versatile, you know, maybe something that just silver face, black leather band, or all kind of silver, which you can kind of just wear with everything, which also just matches kind of like the rest of your jewelry. So, I mean, you want to buy something the first time that is very versatile, and you can just wear with different kind of styles. Now, let me break this down for you also. It is very important to get, you know, once you do have that one watch, it is cool to get different color kind of style watches as well. Now by that I mean, let's say you are wearing like a brown dress shoe, brown belt, that would be a great time to pull out the watch that you have that has the brown kind of strap, right? To kind of complement the whole outfit, right? So, I mean, a watch is a great piece to add to the outfit to really elevate your style. Um, so, I mean, this is something that, you know, if you are looking into purchasing some watches, uh, I can leave some in the description below for you guys to look at and you guys can just shop right in the comments. Now in terms of what you wear it with, a watch can be literally worn with anything which is the per beautiful part about it, right? So you can wear it with any outfit from street style to formal style and to casual style. I can pretty much wear this one watch with every single style. As you can see, I'm wearing like an oversized baggy t-shirt but I also just have this watch on. But if I were to go throw on a suit, I can definitely just wear this watch as well. So I mean, you have to find that one that really suits, you know, your personality and you know your overall kind of styles that you have in your wardrobe, right? Thank you so much guys for tuning into that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful for you guys to go out and purchase some new jewelry for your outfits. But guys, if you guys do me a favor, please hit that like button for me as it does really help out my channel grow and subscribe because I'm posting new content like this every single week. But hey guys, until then, I'll see you all next time.